Shriya here on, uh, you know, on of course this pattern, this deeply disturbing pattern uh, building up and now it's not just India who's seeing it, but these international reports as well. Um, Uday, there's one thing that uh, India needs to look at very closely and that is this business of subcontracting. I believe this is not a Foxconn plant, but a Foxconn subcontractor. I, uh, and I believe that the, the first problem that came up here was one of alleged food poisoning. And, and that's why the, the plant shut down for a few days. But see, there, there's a general malaise that is happening. A very reputed high-tech research institute in Chennai, I won't take the name, what they do is they subcontract their security. You know what happens? The security, the guy who gets the contract, he's the lowest bidder. And you know where they get the security guards from? Rohingyas. At night, you have Rohingya sitting and doing security of a highly cutting-edge research institution. So any kind of, uh, you know, assage it is easily possible. In the name of cutting prices and getting the best price, I think somewhere the security angle, the national security angle has been, you know, left behind. In Foxconn's case, you know, unless Apple starts getting involved and applying pressure, this will be just, you know, it will be another case of Someone did something and then, oh, there were some not so good uh, working conditions. See, Foxconn may not be able to enforce a certain level of working conditions if this is a Foxconn subcontractor. I believe it's a subcontractor. Uh, somebody who's uh, more familiar with the news there, perhaps Suman lives in Chennai, he may know more. So what happens is these, these kinds of, you know, differences in working relationships where the name is Fox, of Foxconn is used, but the actual person who's doing the managing is a subcontractor and subcontractors are going to you know, nickel and dime whatever way they can. So there are some challenges. Of course, when something like this happens, it puts India in bad light and Chinese would be thrilled that India is going through these problems. But that doesn't take away the fact that there has to be more due diligence Yes, absolutely. Uh, and also the, the fact that it's not the first time that this has happened, as I said. It's, it's, it, you know, uh, Suman C. Raman was just mentioning Sterlite. Uh, I mentioned, of course, the grid collapse as well. There's a pattern building up Shia here. Yes, indeed. And the grid collapse, there is something called as SCADA. This is the kind of equipment that manages these grid, uh, you know, electricity supplying over grid because you have a national grid now and that kind of manages turn switches on and off so that say a surplus state like uh, say Maharashtra can give its a surplus to say the neighboring state of Telangana and, and so on. I'm just giving two uh, na names as examples. But what is being alleged and, and I have to find the truth behind it. What is being alleged is the equipment that does all this stuff is manufactured in China and it is also controlled from China. Somebody who is just retired from power uh, corporation told me this. He, I, he, he said he heard it from a person who's still working there. So there is a way that Chinese can bring down the grid infrastructure. In fact, they boasted that they are this. The 13-hour 13, 13 shutdown, they boasted that it was us who did it. Last word to you uh, before we end. Uh Shriya. One thing that India needs to focus on is because it's your labor costs are low, they tend to throw more people at a problem to try and solve it. In my opinion, when it comes to cases of like, for example, making sure that the person who is uh, employed as security is, is capable of doing this, actually India can do more with less. This mindset has to come in. And, and, and then what you do is you can pay the lesser amount of people more money, but better training and have them use more sophisticated software and hardware so that the, the response is faster. And, and this is something that has to happen from ground up. The fact that now new companies are coming into India is an excellent place to tell them, look, try and keep as low a security count as possible so that you have only if you have all your technology tools at your disposal and use that to try and keep things, because once this starts spreading, there will be a metamorphosis 
there will be an osmosis where other companies will also start saying, hmm, these guys are managing security with three people, we have 12, why do we need nine more people? Let's see what they did right. These things have to happen. Some things you cannot throw more bodies. This mindset has to change. Thank you.